February the 2nd. And we're looking right at 30 degrees, it looks like. Yeah, I'd say it's about the halfway between 20 and 40. It's about 30 degrees. So it's Groundhog's Day. And, uh, oh, here comes the kitty. One of the kitties. Did you find yourself a groundhog? So we've had ice for about three days now. And AJ, whoopsie. <laughs> I, I am slipping. Literally, watch my feet slide. Slide. Yep, my feet are sliding. Anyway, uh, AJ's been out of school for three days now. And it looks like the ice is starting to melt. Well, yeah, it's melting. So this is the forklift. Hello, kitty. You gonna get up here? Come on. Get up here. Ooh, look at that. Kitty's on the forklift. Oh, I hear the ice melting off. Gonna uh, drink up some of that snow water, huh? Ice water? So anyway, uh, I have had to put some rock salt out here to keep from sliding. Uh, the stairs were, the back laundry room stairs were covered in ice along with this. Um, oh, could you hear the crinkling of the ice underneath your feet? You hear the ice underneath your feet? Let's go show everybody the ice on the trampoline. You want to see the ice on the trampoline? Come on. So, the main reason why I came out was to show you that... Now, AJ, he would normally like to do this, but he's doing... Um, he's trying to get some schoolwork caught up. Um, but I wanted to show you... Hey, you want to get on the icy trampoline? Here, come here. Let's see how you do on it, huh? <laughs> now that is a cat on an icy trampoline. Look at that. Where's your brother at? Where's your brother? So the jumping part of the trampoline makes a nice uh, place to catch the ice. Oh, I can hear it cracking underneath your feet. You hear it cracking underneath? You want to go ice skating? Here. Oh, look. Let's see. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Not sure. Somebody tell me in the comments because I haven't kept up with it. I'm not sure if, um... The uh, Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow or not. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, there have been times before where AJ would get out here and he would um, break up the ice on the trampoline just by jumping on it. You like that, Kenny? Watch. I can hear it cracking underneath your feet. Where's your brother at? Anyway, I have not checked. So if you have checked, please tell me if the groundhog saw his shadow. Although I don't put a whole lot of stock into that. I never have. <whistles> Come on. Look at that. Let's see. Yeah, I almost kind of wish AJ would get out here and jump on it. But what they do now, let me tell you what to do. Let me tell you what they do with at least our, our schools anyway. When I was a child in school, if we had a snow day and we and we lost school because of a snow day they just tagged it on to the end of the school year so there's actually no snow see uh there's no snow but it's just all this ice so they tagged on an extra day to the school year which i actually graduated on june the 7th and i don't think there's been and that was in 1996 i don't think that there has been a 27 years ago 
I don't think that there has been a graduating class from my high school in Hopkinsville, Kentucky that has graduated in June since, I don't think. Because that's what they used to do. Is they used to add, like, I guess we had a lot of days of, of uh, snow days, I guess, that we had to make up. And they just kept tagging them on. Um, and we graduated on June 7th. But now what they do, at least in our school system, is they call it NTI. And NTI stands for Non-Traditional Instructional Day. So, non-traditional instructional day is what NTI stands for. And then what they do is, at the beginning of winter, they send home, the teachers send home a huge packet, a huge folder of nothing but silly worksheets. Busy work. They called it busy work uh, when I was in school. Just ridiculous worksheets where the kids don't learn anything anyway just ridiculous worksheets of just useless information and it's just all about writing and then they have like a whole like maybe seven or eight worksheets they have to do each day but they're out and so they ha they send home this huge packet of material and they, ha and they send home, uh, the packet includes 10 days worth of work. So it's a pretty big packet. And so when they cancel school, they call it NTI day number one or NTI day number two. And today we are, <laughs> today we are on NTI day number three. And uh, we were, Stephen and, and AJ and I, we were out grocery shopping today. And the roads looked clear, and I don't see any reason why they should cancel school tomorrow. Uh, I really don't see why they should. We haven't received the notice yet. So anyway, AJ's in the house doing his NTI, non-traditional instructional worksheets, which I asked him, I said, do you learn anything from that? No. I don't learn anything from that. It's just basically, and what they do is they turn that in to the teacher, and that counts as a grade. And so, therefore, they said that they had school. <laughs> they had school because they did a bunch of uh, stupid worksheets that don't mount to a hill of beans. Oh, did you like that? Here. Did you like that? Try it again. They don't mount to a hill of beans. They're not learning anything. And did you like that, Kitty? Anyway, I'm just rambling. Otherwise, I'd have AJ out here breaking up this ice. Now, that's what you call a real icebreaker. Look at that. Kitty sure did like it. You ready to come in? Let's go in. All right, well, here's just a sneak peek of, like I said, there's not really any snow, but lots of ice still, but not on the roads. We were out there today, and roads were just fine, and anyway, I'm so ready for AJ to be back in school. <laughs> All right, well, let me know if the groundhog saw a shadow. Happy Groundhog's Day.